Hello everyone and welcome back to the Holland Land Office Museum's Artifact Video Series. I'm Ryan Duffy, the director of the museum, and this week our curator Tyler is going to talk about two items that we sort of recently rediscovered in our collection and put some more information to. Uh, we have uh, two items from the Evans family, uh, a yellow silk dress and a quilt, but Tyler will tell you more about both those pieces. Hi everyone and welcome back upstairs into the collection. So right in front of me we have two very important pieces to the collection and a piece we actually just recently re-identified. So right in front of me are two pieces that belong to the Evans family, um, which Joseph Ellicott is related to by marriage through his sister Rachel. Rachel married into the Evans family and had her son Dave. Um, so the two pieces in front of us are part of that extended family. We have a yellow silk gown from about 1836 to 1840, which is very beautiful. However, it has suffered over the years just due to its age and also the fabric used. It's a very elegant silk, but with that comes very delicate. So it has just faded over time. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to preserve it the best we can. Luckily, Susan Green, who worked here in the 90s, did a lot of conservation work on it, so it's definitely helped it sustain, and we have had it much longer than we thought we would. And then over here is the piece we actually just re-identified in the collection. So right here we have a bear paw print quilt, is the technical name. This was owned by the Evans family in the 1830s. Um, it's a very luxurious quilt. It's probably made out of the best linen a quilt maker could have either made or bought and it's also made out of silk and cotton so it's very girly so it's most likely used by a woman of the family um, it's decked out in pink trim um, the bear paws are with pink cotton and silk so it's a very fun quilt however this has also suffered over the years due to its age and just the premise that it's a fabric it's a natural fiber it's going to deteriorate so these two items may be on display at some point for a very short period, um, but they are upstairs. If you are ever interested in seeing them, just contact us and we will bring them down and you guys can study them. So it's a lot of fun to repatriate these items to the family, to our museum, and really put them where they need to be and preserve them for many more decades. Well, we hope you enjoyed this edition of the Artifact video series and learned more about two of our pieces from the Evans family from the 1830s. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. It helps us out and gets you notified even quicker when we release new videos, which is all the time. And be sure to go check out our back catalog of the Artifact video series as we're getting close to 300 videos, not to mention all of our guest speaker recordings and concerts and other things that are up on our channel. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Uh, and if you're interested in what's in all these artifacts, the best way to find out more is to stop by and see us. We'll be able to share even more information than we have in these videos, and in many cases you can see the artifacts up close and personal. Uh, and if you really enjoy the local history of Genesee County and what we do here at the museum, consider supporting us, and the best way to do that is to become a member of the museum, which is as low as $25 for a year.